so let's see how to install okay uh, pycham id integrating development environment so if you want to uh, install pycham id first target is open your website called jetbrains.com there is a website called jetbrains.com website just open or else you can just type pycham enter then you will get this one so actually this is belongs to jetbrains uh, here i have to download the software just click on the download option yeah so by default pycham actually it provides two options one is a professional software and another one is commercial version uh, okay uh, like professional version so the professional version is just 30 days trial period we have to take the license actually this is one we have to take the license so but by default it will work for 30 days after 30 days it will expire uh, then we have to take the license and the second one is community edition second one is pycham community edition it is a free uh, we can use either professional community version uh, i'm just going for community edition so download dot uh, ex if because my, uh, I just want to work for a Windows operating system so let's go for download so it is going to download Now let's see here, once download is finished, it comes uh, in your download area. Just PyCharm community version, double click your software, downloaded a software. Now click on what run up. Actually it says that which location you want to say, uh, what uh, run. So by default it is storing in where C drive users, server card, something, some location to load it. Okay, uh, yeah, click on what run option. yes click on s option so next click on next now it shows that uh, the location where you want to save uh, if you are not giving anything by default it will save into c drive but i don't want to save into c drive i have to change the location so just go for what a uh, browse or pc so I just want to load save into my uh, education folder, right click, uh, create a new folder, here PyCharm, okay. So I just want to load it into uh, my required folder. Uh, okay, click on what an option called next. So here, uh, what it is asking, add uh, PyCharm community folder to path. Give the check mark for what uh, folder to path. Uh, this is by default it comes, no issues. Uh, as a project. If you want desktop shortcuts, then give the check mark here. So then directly we can double click and we can open. Okay, update context menu, add open folder uh, as project. Create associations dot py. I just give the check mark, click on what next option. Yes, install. Now it has to finish. So once it is finished, then what happened is it uh, gives uh, either uh, okay reboot now or else uh, I want to manually reboot later. Just restart so that the updates are done. Click on what finish option. Okay, so your software is uh, what downloaded. Uh, I mean install then install. 
now we can start our pie chart just re, uh, restart once then it will uh, you can start or else we can start later no problem okay so observe here we have an option called pycham community version uh, just double click here yeah uh, okay i confirm that i accept the terms and condition click on the continue option data sharing not required So here, this is the window, we will get it. Uh, by default, what happened, new project or open folder or get from VCS. So just, I'm just want to do new project. Uh, click on what new project. Yeah. And here it is asking for location. So that means uh, you are going to do the new uh, project where you want to save that new project. By default, C drive. No, no, I don't want to store into C drive. I want to store into my own drive. So, uh, I drive. There is a uh, software called PyCharm. Okay, in order to do this pro things. So... I'll create a folder. New directory. PyCharm projects because what are the programs I'm going to do all my programs I just want to store here PyCharm projects okay okay so all my projects I just want to do here PyCharm project area and uh, so uh, in order to work your PyCharm PyCharm is an ID right it need to configure with our Python environment so there is an option call. Okay, see, let's see here. Uh, Python.exe, we have to configure. New environment using virtual environment location or base interpreter. So or else, uh, uh, if you go for already, we have in what uh, Python environment is available, right? So you can choose that one also directly. By default, it will come. Okay, location. Okay yeah previously configured interpreter or else why already available now so make available to all the projects give check mark here because for whatever the projects we are doing for every projects so this is the python means pycham once we install pycham in order to do the python programs we have to configure what uh, python dot exe file so already in our system, already in our system, we install Python, right? Where I install in the sense, I install in iDrive. There is a folder called Python software. In that one, uh, python.exe available. So directly comes. In case in your system, if you're not getting this one, then here three dots available, right? Click this one, three dots. Then you'll open what uh, your location. Wherever you install the location, just give that path. By default, it will come. Don't worry. So then uh, what? Uh, yeah. Click on what? Create option. Yeah, it is loading uh, some files, uh, setting the environment. Once it is done, then it will open.
now still loading so once all the files are loaded just first time only takes some time uh, give some time uh, so that uh, the python and py your py pycham both will integrate it so if you if you don't want black color if you want other color you can change the colors like go go to here uh, there is an option called what uh, themes in the themes you can choose what are the theme you want light colors okay or light with light header okay like dark color means black color comes high contrast light color okay so what are the colors you want you can apply that theme no problem and then here right click and our target is what i need a new i have to work with i want to just develop one python program so click here new go to what python file i need a python file just select a python file now it is asking what the name of the file. So this is my first example. Uh, so let me write example one. Now observe in my PyCharm example one. Okay. Uh, here uh, you can do your regular program. Like how we are doing in IDLE. In the same way, here we can do the programming. For example, I want to perform addition of two number A equal to 10 b equal to 20 c equal to a plus b now print okay our sum is comma c here the advantage is what uh for example i have what what are the variables i have a b c right three variables i have by mistake if you do any mistake immediately it shows all the mistakes for example let's see uh yeah i'm just writing print see when I write print it gives me the syntax of the print open bracket so yeah now when I say something called P actually P is not available in our location right A B C only three variables are available but I trying to write P which is not available so uh, if you have using ideally it not shows the error until we execute but here observe there is a red underline comes if i just place the cursor in that one it shows uh, unresolved reference p it clearly mentioned the error messages something is wrong okay so if any errors available immediately shows there itself even if Okay, A greater than B colon print A else. Observe when I type just EL, only one character below, it gives me helping intelligent ball. Are you going to write else? Yes, else. Then print B. No, no, I don't want to take uh, static. I want to go for dynamic. So even we can go for dynamic. So A equal to input. Enter any number. But my target is what I have to convert. I need an integer number. So if you need an integer number, we have to convert, right? Then what type I have to convert? I have to convert into integer format. So int of I'm just a uh, string data converted into integer format here also int of input of enter any number so here the advantage is what it will provide some intelligent bar by using that intelligent bar we can do easily any errors are there there only it will display you okay now let me execute this one if i want to execute here okay so simply you can click an option called run on the top we have an option called run symbol you just click on this run symbol then it will execute it otherwise you can use shift f10 
in your keyboard shift and f10 or else you can click this option then it is executed you will get the output at below itself Observe this pycham is total three parts here all your whatever the files we have all the file names are appeared here and then here you can do the programming and here uh, what the output also coming in the below itself now enter n number first number i entered as in seven second number i entered as in five now observe sum a is 12 output comes there itself right so this is the way we can work with what your pie charm this is the way we have to work with pie charm